हेलो 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 अस्सलाम वालेकुम जी आया नू पखेर रागले नी हाओ चुने शुम्मे वशमले ओ हाय गुनजाइमस गुटन मॉर्गन प्रीवियस हाय हग्स एंड हेलोस एंड अ वेरी अमेजिंग खुशामदी टू एवरीबॉडी हु इज ट्यून इन टू पीटी वर्ल्ड एंड वाचिंग वर्ल्ड दिस मॉर्निंग alongside the very blue maha makdoom and the very blue shazad khan hello maha how are you i'm blue too <laughs> um i'm very good today shazad and um thank you for the introduction you know what i was thinking when what? you i'm going to learn the um you know the hand signs yeah 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 for all your hellos so all you have to do you know the hand sign for any hello in any language is just like this uh. so all you have to is do it? is Yeah, or probably this. No, are you, do what you else? know that for a fact? What else? No, I mean, that's what, that's how you say hello, no, right? No, but the sign language. Yeah, there is people. sign language, but I do not know. But I but think saying language. hello, saying hello means hey. No, no. No. Let's not generalize. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not right. Maybe so, I'm wrong. Yeah. So yeah. let's. We'll find out. But I'm going to learn. I'm going to see if I have to learn. Well, if I do have to learn that, then it's very easy. Well, I'll just keep doing this while you're talking. <laughs> All the time. But anyway, on a serious note, how was your day yesterday? My day was great yesterday, mm -hmm. and I think that everybody who's out there, their day was great too as well. But I hope it was great, and guys. Today, I, and I think today Pakistanis are very excited as well. Why? And why? I think this is something which we'll tell you in the top stories. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the top stories. Yeah. Prime Minister Sh Shahid Khan Abbasi has urged the people of Balochistan to vote for the political parties who had put the country and their province on the road to progress and prosperity. So the Prime Minister is giving some really positive Exactly, that's quite, that's quite a positive message. Election Commission of Pakistan has issued bailable warrants of arrest against Pakistan Tariq and Saf Chairman Imran Khan for non-appearance in contempt of court case and i think he's in turkey though yeah he was in england as well for a wedding right yeah okay and singapore has inaugurated its first female president <laughs> halima yakub has become the first female, female president. president for singapore yes I'm getting my word out. I'm slow <laughs> no, in the morning, Shazam. No, you know this. No, no, that, that's not what I'm saying. But the sentence we have got, I think. I'm not entirely sure about yeah, that. Yeah, even I'm not. <laughs> Again, let's move on. The world's eldest giant panda, Basi, died in <gasps> East China city of Fuzhou at yeah. the age of 37, equivalent to more than 100 human years. Okay, so lived a long, good long life. Good long life. I hope it was a good life. An entire century, I think. Yeah, but in captivity? No, it wasn't really captivity. Yeah, I see all those panda in captivity. Okay, moving on. The third and final 2020 of the Independence Cup 2017 between Pakistan and World Eleven will be played today at Gaddafi Stadium, Lahore. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. So, okay. so that was, that's why I think the entire Pakistan is excited as well today. Ladies and gentlemen, these were the top stories. We'll definitely build up on the cricketing season, which is going on over here in Pakistan. But before that... Ah, uh, public service message. Ah, favorite time. <laughs> okay, so, you know, uh, all of a sudden when we announce public service message, so my producer has a different one, and she has a different one, and I have a different one as well. Well, we try to, just, me and Shazad try to discuss us before the show. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. But, uh, but there are two things which I want to say. First of all, for all those women who actually yes. are riding on a bike mm. please make sure that you carry your dubattas very carefully or wrap them around mm. yourself so that they do not get stuck in the chain and you're not so that you don't fall basically yeah because uh, our producer did witness an accident today and the lady is very badly injured and you know it's really bad because it can like strangle you and cut you and it's terrible and also another person i know i don't know them one of my uh acquaintances yeah. uh, nephews was run over by a car because he had a crash on a motorbike he had 25 stitches and he's 16 years old so that's just be careful that's it so just be careful and wear helmets too as well for even you if you're a passenger on a bike please make sure that you wear a helmet mm. and other than that there's one more thing which i want to say and that is that for all those people who are trying to like farm for example what happens on social media is that when you write something very absurd or this Wait, happened to said? the mother or the mother did this to the son mm. and it's basically a news which directs you to another website so you click on it because you think that the absurd uh, heading oh. is actually very 
captivating. Please don't do that because as a matter of fact, I think this is how we deteriorate the image because when we talk about social media, it's a global forum. Mm -hmm. And anybody and everybody can see that. So please don't do that just because mean? of the fact that you want more likes on your post. Well, what? What happened? Yeah. So what happens was that yesterday there was a, there was a person who actually wrote a, a story and he said that, oh, bomb blast outside a cricket stadium. Uh -huh. And it was just because of the fact that, you know, there's cricket happening over here. And eventually when I opened up the link, it was in Afghanistan. And I'm not even ah, sure whether, okay. whether that story so was true or not. So they're creating sensationalizing yeah. and trying to create. Okay, anyway, exactly. let's move on. We yeah. have a caller, a guest on the phone. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, talking about this amazing guy. Uh, he's been on the show quite a lot of times when I used to do scene on him on PT World in the evening. Mm -hmm. And if you want to talk about cricket, I think he's the perfect guy. Zaidi Sahab, Assalamu Alaikum, how are you? Fine, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. It is brilliant to talk to you after so long. Oh, yes. Yeah, same here. Zadi Saab, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I'm talking. Okay, oh. that's great. Oh, no. We can't hear you. We're having some difficulties. Yeah. So, Zadi Saab, how do you see the encounter which is going to take place today in Qadhafi Stadium? Yeah, well, uh, I've been following two games uh, while sitting in Qadhafi Stadium. It has been superlative ticket. <laughs> Yesterday, when we went uh, into Qadhafi Stadium, we were of the view that uh, World Eleven would like to make it 1-1, so that uh, crowd pour in for the third one day international, which will, which, which will be fought very hard by, by both of the sides. So I think today we are going to see class cricket, and uh, well, uh, Pakistan will have to improve their bearing. In the first uh, match, they scored 197 runs, I think, gave a target of 198 uh, uh, to World Eleven. In the second match, uh, they gave a target of around 175. This wicket is a 200 runs wicket. So Pakistan, if they bat first, they should go for a total of around 200 runs on the board. You know, it, the, the encounter is going to be very interesting because, you know, the series is level by 1-1 one, one right now. And we've got one more match which is going to take place today. But eventually what happens is that for Pakistan, you know, when we clinch a title, I think you know, we, we are very confident. But now, eventually, when we see that it's 1-1, one, one, don't you think that our boys get a bit confused too as well? Or they feel that pressure? Uh, I think, yes, uh, this is one of the reasons. The second reason is that our batting is not that good that, as compared to that of uh, World Eleven. And uh, you know, you must have seen Hashim Amla's innings before yesterday. He played brilliantly well. And uh, Pop Diplosi is there, and with many, many others, Miller is still to be tested, uh, and we are expecting a fiery in inning from uh, Miller uh, from South Africa. But anyhow, Pakistan, if they t bat first, it's a good batting wicket. Pakistan should not score less than 200 runs. Well, okay, well, well, that's something which we'll have to see on the pitch as well, right? Because we do have quite a lot of hours left to uh, see that encounter. But there's one more news which I want to share with you. So, Mr. Javed Miyadat says World Eleven players should convince their teams to tour Pakistan. Do you think that it is a good thing to say or do you think that, you know, when the topmost players of all around the world are here in Pakistan, do you really see that we want them to convince, go back and convince their teams to come to Pakistan or they're going to come anyways? Well, I'm of the view that uh, we should convince Australia, England, South Africa uh, to visit Pakistan to play Test Series, ODI Series and T20 Series because uh, this is the time when uh, you have seen in last two games, crowd has behaved very well. And uh, there, was, there were jam-packed crowds inside the stadium. And, uh, well, uh, since I'm sitting in Lahore, I can tell you the uh, madness for cr cricket is at, at, at its top. To label it because West Indies has actually confirmed that they're going to come to Pakistan for a series as well. So I think we are on the right track now. Yes, I think South Africa is in the queue too because we must see that there are five players from South Africa in this world alone. So I think that, you know, we, we, we're on the right path. It's all a good omen and we need to celebrate, right? But uh, the last thing which I wanted to ask and that was since you said that, you know, the crowd behaved very well, which is very, uh, I think, an amazing thing to hear too early in the morning as well. But... How do you see generally who are these Pakistanis supporting? Are they supporting World Eleven or are they supporting Pakistan? 
I think they are supporting quality cricket. Uh, this is what I have seen on two in two matches. Amazing. Thank you very much, Zaidi Sahab, for being with us. It was lovely being in a conversation with you after so long. Thank you. And for all those people who are out there, we're going for a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with our amazing guest and an amazing topic. Life. Book is hope. And book is light for the future. Welcome back, everyone. And before the break, Shazad was having his cricket fix for all of our cricket lovers out there. Yeah. Because the 2020 is happening within Pakistan. Pakistan versus the, the world. The Independence Cup, yeah. Right? 11. The world. It's World 11. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> that, that's something which always happens. <laughs> There's so many different numbers and so, figures. So one day I was asking my sister, do you even know how many players play in a team? And you know what she said? 22. Oh. <laughs> I said, that's almost... Uh, Equal to both the teams as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I used to really follow cricket in England. You you always support yeah. Pakistan. England and is cricket. the home of cricket But anyways. the thing is, as I've gotten older, cricket, football, I'm kind of over it. But now we have a very important subject. Sports is good for this. It's, it's a good activity to do if you are suffering from it. But we are discussing uh, depression. Yeah. What, what happened? No, I, I thought that, you know, we should actually share that incident, which uh, oh, right. oh, sorry. Yes, got yes. our... Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, what happened okay, that today we, we got a post by someone, uh, and obviously we're not going to name anybody. So she was a student, she was 18 years old or 17 years years old, and her school teachers actually tried to yep. to to pressurize her on studying. Well, they did, they put so much pressure on her that caused a lot of stress, a lot of tension, and a that lot of anxiety. That you cannot study economics, you cannot study this, and you won't and be able to pass. They weren't supporting her in her admissions either. And that, I mean, when you're trying to do that as a use of motivation, that can cause unnecessary stress, especially when you are a teenager, you are a young adult. You do not, you're not wise to the ways of the world or life. You, yeah. you know, as a th as thirty year olds or late twenty year olds or mid twenty year olds, um, you, happy birthday! You don't know how life is going to turn out. You don't know that okay things aren't as bad as they seem. Exactly. But anyway, so no, but but other than that, the point which I wanted to make over here is that you know nobody knows in the schools, the teachers or the vice chancellors or the principals that mm. what circumstances somebody belongs to mm. or what circumstances he or she may have. Or have, but, mm. but other than that, you know, what I want to say is that this poor lady, mm. she died of a heart attack mm. just because of the fact that the school teachers were pressurizing her to that you cannot do that. And that anxiety caused her a heart attack mm. and she's no more. Yeah, exactly. No, but you know what it is? It's soul rest in peace. Yeah, absolutely. But it's not that the teachers have no idea. They should have an idea. When you're a teacher, you're supposed to know your students. You're supposed to know their parents as well. That is the sign of a good teacher because they take interest in Students and life. even other than that, Ma, there are so many su suicides uh, in um, medicine schools, exactly. e even in and engineering schools, just because that you know, over first of all, they're very expensive. So now, for example, if a parent is spending a million rupees for a year mm -hmm. and you cannot pass or succeed, so the only option kids are left with is to actually attempt suicide. Well, that, that's the that's what they feel. That's the yeah. only option. That is not the only option. There are a lot more options. That it should be not even on the cards. So to discuss how to handle anxiety and depression, especially when you are a young adolescent and a young adult, we've been joined by some wonderful guests, and we will be talking about the symptoms that we see in men and in women and in teenagers. 
how our daily lives are affected and what are the daily techniques and tools we can utilize to make our lives easier because you can't eat properly, yeah. you can't sleep properly, or you, you can't eat too think much. properly. Yeah. Like, yeah, properly, that's the same thing. You're e either eating too much or you're yeah. eating too less. You're either sleeping too much or you're not sleeping enough. So these are, you know, these are things that we laugh it off. And in this country, uh, which I've noticed, no one's going to, I have no, have no one come up to say to me, I'm feeling quite depressed. You know, I'm going through a bout of depression. Uh, I'm suffering from anxiety these days. Um, you know, I try to do as much as I can within the social context, but until we start owning our feelings, we're not going to be able to correct them. So yeah, to we need to voice these concerns. Exactly. So to discuss this uh, really important topic, we've been joined by Khalid Shahzad Khan. Uh, he is a hypnotherapist, a mind power trainer, an energy healer, and a counselor. Assalamualaikum. Good Wa morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, besides Khalid Shahzad Khan, we've been joined by Shabana Ali, who hasn't been here for ages. I'm really happy to have her back. Yeah. She is our spiritual healer and a spiritual counselor and guide at Violet Circle. Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure. So I think I'll get the conversation started with the guy who, uh, who's actually got the same name as me. He has. So, Mr. Shahzad. Are you a Khalid as well? No, I'm not a Khalid. Uh, <laughs> but I'm a Khan. But yeah. it's perfectly all right. But let's concentrate on Shahzad. Yes. Now. All right. So... What is depression? What is anxiety? What kind of a state is it? Depression is basically a reaction to certain traumatic uh, events. Mm. Like it could be caused because of a loss of a family member, mm. you know, loss of a job, something like that, bankruptcy, that is depression. Mm. It's associated with the past. Mm. Anxiety, on the other hand, it's like worrying about the future. Mm. I would put it in this way, uh, uh, a Chinese philosopher, mm. he said, if you live in the past, you're depressed. If you live in the future, you're anxious. But if you live in the present moment, you are at peace. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, you know, we have to accept this thing. Mm -hmm. In our society nowadays, uh, people are going through these things. Yeah. We don't, you know, realize it, but it's bothering everybody. Okay, so yeah. the thing is, we're going to stay away from the kind of medical and the, you know, all of these kind of terms, because we've done that plenty of times. But we're going to talk about the feelings and the symptoms. So. For example, someone who is suffering from depression or major depressive disorder or clinical depression, uh, they'll have, so it's, which is common, yeah. right? It's a very common thing. I think one in 50, one in two people suffer from some form, some, some form. type of depression yeah, exactly. at one point in their life. Yeah. Now, severe symptoms affect how we feel, like yeah. you said, how we think, how we handle our daily activities, sleeping, eating, as I've mentioned. Now. How do we manage, like, how do we start figuring out, especially within adolescents and adults, young adults, that they may be suffering from some form of depression? Like, Usually when people are going through that mm. uh, depressive phase, um, their behavior is uh, sort of uh, not normal. Okay. They, they uh, tend to adopt uh, certain habits, mm. like uh, overeating, as you said earlier, mm. or... Uh, not being able to eat on time okay. and usually their uh, sleep patterns are disturbed mm. and they feel lack of motivation whatever okay. they are doing they're studying or they are pursuing their career mm. they are not able to focus on their uh, you know goals okay uh, usually such people uh, don't have any goals mm -hmm. and uh, lack of self-worth mm. lack of self-confidence mm. and um, they they don't like to socialize much they uh, uh, have this. T they develop this tendency to get into drugs, mm. smoking, uh, or you know any mm. other drugs. Oh yeah, because that they're looking for ways out to deal with yeah. the, the they're mental. They're trying to escape from their inner torture trauma. Okay, now okay. there's one more thing which I want to ask, and that is, uh, do you think that somebody who's suffering from depression or anxiety can have a physical ailment or illness? Of course, yeah. of course, yeah. it, it develops. develops. What yeah. kind of? Well, uh, depression can cause all the you know, different types of diseases. First of all, it starts with the, you know, uh, your sleep patterns are disturbed. You tend to overeat. Mm -hmm. You tend to you know, w gain weight, a lot of other things. Then uh, it can result in uh, you know, psychological other illnesses. Oh, so exactly. So once you're not sleeping enough, that's going to affect the way you yeah. think. That's going to have a, a real toll. You're going to be exhausted all the time. Then you're not going to be able to eat properly. And then also all these chemicals and hormones are being released. So She's an expert on this. Herself. I did so much research <laughs> yesterday. It's her field. Um, so, 
but tell us, because we're here to talk about how to handle it. Like this week, we've really focused on solution-based shows. Yeah. So um, I'll start with, uh, with you, Shazad. Okay. It's weird to have you, Shazad. Mm -hmm. um, now, someone who has, like, I mean, everyone knows, truly, if you really own yourself, you know if you're struggling. No, you I just want to get to know the feelings of what happens okay. when you're anxious or when anxiety hits you. What is your s physical state then? I can do Anxiety. Like, yes, All right. Okay. Yeah. Anxiety is basically, you know, you're worrying about the palpitations, future. Palpitations, what? Yeah, palpitations. Okay. And, you know, you can have nervous disorders. So, uh, well, for daily, uh, uh, on a, on a uh, daily basis, what you can do to resolve these issues yeah. is like, uh, like trying to live in the moment. Mm. You can strive mindfulness exercises, mm -hmm. you know, on a daily basis. Mm. Uh, I put it this way. You c accumulate trash every, every day in your household, right? Mm. And if you don't get rid of that trash, mm. it'll cause stink and disease. Okay, so now, I'm just going to pause you there. Okay. Now, uh, this trash that we are collecting. In our now, minds. Uh, yeah, so I just want to build up on Shazad's question. And Shaban, this is to both of you guys. All right. When you have uh, your clients yeah. um, or patients who come to you, what feelings are they describing when they are talking to yeah. you about anxiety? What so that, you know, anybody who's out there should actually know. What are they feeling inside? The feeling inside is like, you know, worrying about the future, what is going to happen tomorrow. Mm. You know, that is anxiety. Okay, but it does come into physical ailments as well, of right? Course, because because I, I mean, I suffer from anxiety sometimes, huh. and I can feel a physical tension in my chest all the time. It's heavy. I'm never relaxed. Palpitations. Oh, well, I'm about to die. No, 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 yeah. no, no. no. no it's nothing. nothing it's just this stress. It's like tension. That's the initial level. Mm. Eventually, oh, <laughs> you, you need to work on yourself. Yeah, yeah. You we have to get we go kickboxing every, yeah. every because, because eventually we... it develops into chronic uh, body aches yep. and um, other you know your body organs they start malfunctioning. Mm. You can call it you know you can develop certain diseases. Yeah, like um, heart issues, diabetes. Mm. And most of our clients who um, are chronic um, mm. uh, patients of depression, mm -hmm. and usually, uh, first of all, they don't want to admit that they are depressed mm. because they uh, they blame circumstances mm -hmm. and people around them. Okay. Because of this, I'm feeling this way. Okay. Actually, uh, uh, for, uh, first of all, they need to. You know, that's what we do. Mm. We make them understand what they are going through actually okay the root cause of their issues okay. and others behavior okay great. so all their uh, physical pains and mm. other disease mm. they start um, getting healed mm. okay. uh, once they are you know able to recognize first of all you yeah, have to give recognition is, yeah. Yeah. what you are going through the you cause. have to come out of the denial phase that i'm not depressed blame game i'm blame game mm. is they, they tend to do this because mm. they don't want to accept it mm. they don't want to accept that there is something wrong within their own system, their thinking. Yeah, absolutely. The most difficult thing in human, uh, you know, psychology is they don't, people don't want to change their thinking. They, they believe they're right. Absolutely. So okay, so now, yeah. now this is, you've highlighted some really important points there. So now you've said about the physical consequences of not dealing with uh, cr chronic or clinical uh, depression and, you know, chronic and clinical anxiety, like long-term anxiety. Hmm. Now, this realization and the acceptance, like that, that's the culture that we have. Oh, no, no, it's because of this, that's why I'm sad. It's because of this person. It's because, you know, this is falling apart. Yeah, but quite a lot of people have actually even escaped just by saying or just by not even accepting that. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think that's what I've seen. And this mm. is this is what happens in every household over here in Pakistan. Oh, you're a guy, you're a guy. So now what happens? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for all those no, people exactly. who think that, you know, men cannot feel pain. Why, man? Why do you have to say it's this? It's a stereotype we've created, yeah. right? Which is now leading, especially within the millennials, to more psychological issues, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Actually, you know, uh, we have to have acceptability in our society. Mm. People don't accept this. Mm. This, uh, you know, these yeah. there's a um, taboo to it. Mm. Yeah. You know, there's a taboo to it. Mm. That's what, But this is a, you know, common thing nowadays. Depression, anxiety, we have to accept it. Mm. We have to adopt certain ways, you know, what should we do? Mm. So I would suggest mm. for on a daily basis... So don't base give a solution now. Oh. Okay, oh, we right? have to move on to what solution because there are two more things which oh, I yeah. want to say. Because, you know, you very correctly mentioned that we have to find the cause. Now let's talk about the causes as well. For example, you know, there, were, there was this article which I was reading the other day and it was over the internet anyways. But the article itself said 
that too much information over the internet and too much sticking to your phone and going through what yeah. people have to say causes stress and causes anxiety yeah. too. And then the second one it's which true. I studied was they said that depression is going to be the third largest killer by 2020 in Pakistan. Yep. Yeah. So imagine what's happening to us. So and let's talk about these causes. So is it just the cell phones? Is it just the family pressures? Is it just the future thoughts? Everything. <laughs> so Shivana, we'll start with you. How can we be in the moment? Uh, first of all, that's you know, the solution, dude. Yeah. Uh, with all these uh, present uh, circumstances, social media, and all these uh, cell phones and internet. No, zero contentment. Yeah. Zero contentment. First of all, uh, th this reason is uh, competitiveness. We we have this weird kind of uh, competitiveness in all of us which was not there uh, before <coughs> when i was growing up mm. i never knew that um, i should have that best selfie on facebook mm. yeah. you know yeah. i should be ha i i was not forced to have fun mm. so i can put up pics on fa facebook That's you know a yeah. so <laughs> when my 500 contacts they are putting up all these yeah, uh, lovely fun. you know yeah. uh, events and all that uh, social gatherings mm. and all the stuff and they are uh, roaming around in the world. Mm. I, I never knew that um, other contact, in, uh, 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 mm. uh, maybe I don't know that person yeah. mm. so close, but now f uh, through Facebook, we know so many people. Yeah, everyone. So people are having fun, they are going to other countries, they are mm. having, uh, uh, you know, you can uh, see that trips in life. So, so it just gets in your subconscious. It gets in your subconscious, not subconscious, basically, you get into that. Uh, that thing that you, that you have to prove something to the world yes. oh yeah which you don't have to you just have to get better you so just have contentment. to be happy okay. zero zero contentment. Contentment. well yes. it's not even zero it's like expectations <laughs> yeah. comparison and um you know lack of uh, con like yeah. lack of contentment. contentment yeah contentment. that's what i'm saying zero yeah. content but uh, uh, <laughs> my producer just reminded me no, of no, a very zero. major lack of contentment lack of contentment okay fine yeah. but my producer just uh, reminded me of a very amazing story and i the name of the story was a man who was a hospital i don't know whether you've uh, read it or not i've read it so what happens was that whenever he used to see somebody who's sick or somebody was talking about his or her ailment you know he used to think that you know He's got the same disease as well. He would rush to the hospital, mm -hmm. get it checked, come back, and the other day somebody else is talking about another ailment, and he thinks, "Oh, I've got all the symptoms." Runs to the hospital See, again. That's called the and by the end, and by the end, he was we actually had all the diseases as well. Right. So just oh. because, so this is how powerful the brain is. Once you really? start thinking and start yeah. building on something, it happens. Can I add something to this? Sure. Absolutely. You know, an average human being thinks 60,000 thoughts in 24 hour cycle. 80% okay. of those thoughts are negative. Mm. Nothing to do with reality. Mm. It's all in your mind. Mm. So you need to get r rid of this trash that I was yeah. talking okay. about so earlier. Yeah, so let's talk about this. So now we've kind of described a little bit, um, you know, the feelings of depression and anxiety. Now the thing is guys, there's no black and white uh, cause. There's no black and white symptom. If you're not feeling good, you're not feeling good about your life, then there's no apparent reason for it. Then yeah. there could be something that you need to reflect on and maybe you need to uh, yeah. go to someone, maybe get some counseling, maybe reflect on life, but do it objectively so you can do it. And I've seen, and I've seen uh, the only thing which I would love to add over here is that I've seen people who have got enough money, who've got healthy kids, they are healthy by themselves as well, they've got enough cars, they've got servants working at their homes, but still, they're not Yeah, well. because it's they're got not nothing happy. to do with that. Yeah. The yeah. overthinking mind. Yeah. Exactly, it's about your conditioning as well, the way your wires have been placed all your life. Yeah. If you've been having negative thoughts, like this girl died because of all this negative bombardment. stress, a bombardment, exactly, yeah. it was a harassment and abuse. Yeah. So, she was feeling inadequate, she didn't feel good enough, but her external situation was causing it. Now, let's deal, let's talk about this. Uh, how do we deal with these All situations? Right. And how can we empower the kids with tools to make them stronger? Let's start with palpitations. How do we deal with them? Palpitation. It's not palpitation, man. Well, it's like it's a feeling that you just uh, I mean, it's a feeling which we cannot describe. So let's yeah, just say. Really Basically, weird. I would suggest, you know, if you take three deep breaths, mm. that'll make a big difference, you know. Yeah. Just start by breathing slow and deep, okay. not shallow breathing. Mm. To calm your nerves, you have to do that. Mm. And for kids, as you said, nowadays we have to, you know, kids are into games and, you know, everything. They need to do outdoor activities, mm -hmm. physical exercises. Mm -hmm. They need to get back into that. Okay. And uh, on a normal basis, I would suggest 
half an hour daily, you have to practice mindfulness. Okay. Mindfulness can be as simple as, you know, just breathing deeply, mm -hmm. focusing on your breath, mm -hmm. or it can be body scan meditation, concentrated from your head to your toe. Mm -hmm. Just relax, sit back, take three deep breaths, mm -hmm. and concentrate your attention, make your attention on your head, then all the way down. Okay. Then you can, you know, just visualize a beautiful place you're sitting into, mm -hmm calming and relaxing yourself. Yeah, but this is something which is hard to do. It's you know, when, when, you, when you close your eyes and when you sit back and you try to relax, your anxiety comes back. So it's like a chair which is following yeah. you and you look back and the chair is not there and you say, no, no, the chair is still there. And then you look back again and that's then the chair is closed up. That's why you need to know the technique of doing mindfulness because that's not how you do it. Yeah. So, um, because let's see how because we do abroad, it like, you, you get taught these I'll things. I'll give you a simple technique. Sure. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's try it now. Let's, just, let's do okay. one. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Just Let me think of something bad first. No, no, don't think of anything bad. Okay, <laughs> just uh, begin by taking a deep breath. Exhale. Take another deep breath. Exhale, slow and easy. One last time, take a deep breath in. Now let go. Now bring your attention to the top of your head the crown. Focus your attention in the crown. Slowly bring the awareness down to your forehead, your eyes, your facial muscles, cheeks, your neck, shoulders, upper arms, forearms, hands. Now bring that awareness from the top to the bottom your upper abdomen, chest area, all the way down. Feel your spinal column, a wave of relaxation traveling down your spine, all the way down to your hips, thighs, knees, calves, ankles, soles of your feet. And just in your mind, count from 10 to 1. With each descending number, you'll feel more and more relaxed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now visualize yourself on a mountain top, sitting next to a lake, with all your senses, <coughs> feel the breeze, feel the beautiful, you can see a snow-capped mountain in the distance, just relax your mind. You can open your eyes whenever you are. If you like it. Yeah, that's great. That's great. We just, just made it back. Small. No, 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 see, I had <coughs> to, s I stopped halfway through because I was like, I can't be too relaxed, so you have to <laughs> finish the rest of the show because Shazad's getting into it. Yeah. So, no, that's great. Now, <coughs> this is wonderful. So, basically, it's about gathering yourself and finding that location because yeah. if you have that beautiful spot that you can think of all the time, but obviously different things work for different people. So yeah. this is one technique, which yeah. is wonderful. You guys should try it. Yeah. But Shivana, tell us, what other techniques can you give to mothers or children? Because you're a spiritual counselor. How does and that you've, work? And you've also relaxed us many yeah. a times yeah. and given us counseling many a times. So tell us. how. Basically, um, as a spiritual counselor and healer, uh, I believe uh, everything revolves around love. We are made of love. Our soul is made of love. That is the only ingredient of our soul. That's a wonderful thing to so, say. So, um, when you look around, um, how many people you find who who claim to have uh, self-love, mm. true self-love, or who believe they are loved? Mm. Basically, we are uh, all loved. <coughs> and that feeling of being loved mm. heals us. Okay. So, m most of the people, when they start uh, loving themselves, mm first thing that leaves them is their depression and anxiety. Mm. Wow. They stop caring about future and mm. they don't, uh, 
you know, Worry regret the their past. Okay. As Hali said, it's our past that uh, puts uh, us in that gloomy mm. state. So uh, there's a simple technique. Mm. You need to love yourself. Mm. You can do it either by looking into mirror mm. and saying, I love myself. Yeah. You should, s mm. you know, feel good about she it. She knows I already that know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. The sign of depressed people is when I tell them, okay, can you say that? I love myself. I love they myself. start crying. I fact, love everyone around you. Me. You, you <laughs> love, uh, I can uh, see that in your aura. You. you actually love yourself. You need to love yourself more. You do more. love yourself, but not fully. Yeah, yeah. you need right. to accept yourself as okay. well. Okay, but now, this is a very good point, um, which, you know, we have a tendency to take things to extremes. You know, we're yeah. human beings at the end of the day. So when someone is told to love themselves. <laughs> All the time. You, example A, <laughs> arrogance and like, you know, huh? obsession. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not arrogance or... Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about him, not him. So you just have but to stand once that's in That's contentment. Yeah. Okay. That's the uh, a different. thing, you know, love brings us. Okay. Now, the thing is, how do you keep it? Because this Balanced. is... Balanced. Balanced. Because this is where I think a lot of teenagers, adolescents, and young adults go wrong. And that's where that kind of, that line of thought and that conditioning also happens is that, okay, yes, uh, you know, I am capable of stuff, but there's a lot of stuff I need to work on because we, at the end of the day, no one's perfect. We can always make ourselves better. Mm -hmm. So how do we make, keep that balance that, yes, yeah. I love myself in the sense that I'm happy with myself, but I know these are my weaknesses yeah. and this is what I need to work on. Because what happens is that if you don't have that realization, external parties will pick up on your weaknesses. Yeah. That's what they use to manipulate and make you feel like... No, no, no. And I think that this the is the first part that you don't have to share your weaknesses and other than that. No, no, okay, but... Okay, when no, you're young, no, when no. you're vibrant, you know, you definitely love yourself. I don't agree with you. Well, no, and no, then, no, you know, no. after 20 years, 30 years, you. you lose your hair, you lose your teeth. No, no, no. Nobody else loves you. How can you love <laughs> Shazad, yourself? <laughs> Shazad, you, you, you know, when other people... Oh, from other joke, people, yeah. whatever love you receive, uh, that's just reflection of your inner love. Okay. So love is basically uh, that light mm. uh, that shows you your path. Mm. So you Even don't. Your wife does not love you then. So so maybe you need to love yourself more. You need yeah. to accept that thing okay. and you need to affirm yourself yeah. daily. Look into the mirror and say, I Whatever. love myself. Okay. Every yes. morning mm. you wake up, you uh, you know, standing in front of a mirror. You can say. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Mm. Feel that with all your emotions. Yeah, that'll I make think a that's difference. a good exercise. Okay, no, but on a serious I need note. need to get a mirror in Okay, yeah, now. but we're joking. Yes, uh, we are joking around, but on a serious yeah. note. Um, the fact that Shazad mentioned, you know, I know he was saying it in jest, but you shouldn't highlight your weaknesses to other people. You now, I don't, I don't agree with that concept at all. Uh, uh, let me we're not perfect. This, uh, let me clear this thing, uh, yeah. Maha. How do you, why do you need to show your, uh, or highlight your weaknesses? Mm. When you are, you lack that self-love, mm. then you are tend to talk about your weaknesses more mm -hmm. and about your talents less. And really? this is the same thing, Maha, where we <coughs> were saying that, you know, people over here do not accept that, you know, oh, I am depressed and whatnot. Mm. It is because of the fact that they do not want to give away weaknesses. For example, if something goes wrong yes. in the office for a person who says or acclaims that, you know, I am depressed, I think it's going to get you used against him. Okay, yeah, but that's the thing. That's, that shows the lack of evolution on the mental health. Yeah. Because abroad, True if that. you suffer from depression while you're at work, you get sick leave. No, you I are agree. allowed to take time off. You come back to work and everything's the same. So obviously, I'm not saying highlight your weaknesses. I'm saying mm -hmm. there is nothing wrong with accepting that yeah. we yeah. have weaknesses. Acceptance is no, always And discussing them, there's nothing wrong with it because yeah. until we discuss them, how will society And if evolve? you want to accept them True. and if you want to talk about them, just go to the expert. Talk to them. Yes. No, but even your friends, you can talk to your friends. What, what do you think about this? I, I feel very strongly about this topic. Yeah, One should uh, talk to, you know, uh, your friends about it. We need to become more aware, accept these things. Sensitize. You know. Yeah. We have to, as a society, we have to grow. Okay. I mean, in the West, it's acceptable, but over here, it's a taboo. It's seen as a weakness, yeah, which is that yeah. said, yeah. So but we have to accept it. Yeah, one more thing which I wanted to ask, and that is about that Tai Chi you used to do, or yeah. you're still doing it as well. What is that? That is basically, uh, it's a Chinese martial arts, mm. okay. and I do Qi Gong. That's on, just like a yoga exercise. It's, mm. uh, it's breathing techniques aligned with certain body movements. Mm. It's a meditative practice.
and uh, you know mindfulness there are a lot of mindfulness exercises <coughs> and cha tai chi based or qigong based okay, it excellent. brings you into the moment yeah. Yeah. even other than that how do you think that fitness regimes definitely help to get rid of depression and anxiety definitely because it puts you in the moment yeah i mean when you you're are lifting like 100 yeah. kgs you don't even I know what's interested. happening you're like man i just want to pick this <laughs> up right now yeah. it, it definitely does you know <laughs> first of all when you're exercising your brain is releasing hormones. Yeah. Uh, it's endorphin, happy hormones, mm. oxytocin, serotonin. They are all happiness hormones. Mm. They contribute to your happiness. And when you're stressed up, mm. there's a cortisol. You release cortisol. Yeah. So in order to fight that, you have to do exercise, release endorphins, yeah. oxytocin, serotonin. Exactly, because if you don't have the counterbalancing of the yeah. happy hormones, the cortisol can actually change the way your brain is working sure. and the way you yeah. think. And that's where the negative thoughts and the yeah. patterns happen. So Shabana, finally, uh, for all our viewers, you know, what would you, what would be the one thing that you would like them to take away and maybe try and practice in order to gain more self-love? Uh, that's another exercise, mm. uh, like Tai Chi. Mm. I recommend people the, that mental exercise. Mm. Just uh, sit mm. comfortably mm. Uh, daily mm. for five minutes, minimum five mm. minutes, and s uh, focus on one positive affirmative statement. Mm. For example, I am loved and healed. Mm. That is enough. Okay, Just focus sir. for ten five to ten minutes daily okay. so that is going to uh, send message to your uh, uh, all the cells body mm. cells and uh, all of your s body cells yeah. have their uh, have a brain of their own mm. so your body knows how to heal itself wow. whether Absolutely. it's a uh, physical emotional or exactly. mental issue great Amazing. thank you so much for well, being one, more thing, wait, one oh, more thing one more thing and very sorry to uh, you know disturb well, you because you, you were about to wrap it up as well mm. but ladies and gentlemen over here in pakistan we are a muslim majority Mm. And we cannot negate the effect of praying and reading Quran. That's all as part well. of yeah. meditation. Yeah. And it is a part of meditation. Yeah. Of course. To what extent does it work? It works a lot. You have to be focused while you have you're to praying. be faithful first of all. Yeah. You have to get into it. You know, when you're praying, pray with your heart. Mm. And that is also an exercise in, in, in itself, you know. Mm. Amazing. So it's amazing. You Thank know. you for saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Shabana? Basically, uh, Quran is all about healing. Everything, you, you can find the solution. Even if you don't understand the meaning, mm -hmm. just re recite the verses and yeah. you can you feel it. Exactly. Yeah. He, he and I can feel it. Thank you so much for being here. It's an absolute right. pleasure. And listen, this is the thing. It, that, that's the power of words. Words matter, as we have been learning this week. You know, you have to be careful. And what you t say to yourself has an impact on how you behave and who you are. How you feel about yourself exactly. as well. So that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. The only thing... And don't be afraid of your weaknesses. No, but I, I would say just make sure that you're content with whatever you have. And by the way, just to make a disclaimer that this is separate from a, uh, you know, chemical or, you know, indoor... Uh, influence like depression people have different types of depression this is just symptomatic depression exactly that's what it is but do not forget to log on to our facebook fan page which is with the name of well this morning on twitter well this morning without a g on daily motion and youtube well this morning well by the way whenever the weekends here there's no depression <laughs> no anxiety no, no, there is for some people so <laughs> yeah and the uh, fabulous repeat is going to be at <laughs> 11 and 5 p.m uh, so five past 11 p.m yes yeah, so ladies and gentlemen look after yourselves one two three have a great weekend be good be safe Good morning. Good morning.